Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the wonderful name of the Lord. God bless, God bless, God bless. Thank you for being here today. If you're viewing this message, or viewing this video, thank you for being here, being part of what this great thing that God is doing for us today as the believer as as the as the church of the most high god and the, and, and we just thank you for being here at measure faith worship center usa and we're also represented with measure faith worship center india pastor babu megapu and his great wonderful family as he, you see my brand new calendar for the brand new year it's, we not we can forget about december it's over Christmas is gone. Christmas passes here now. 2020, Christmas 2, Christmas pass. <laughs> now we're looking forward to the great opportunities we have for the new year. This is about our the new year that's here. The new beginning. I, I did a little blog this morning about the new beginning. You know, God has given us. People say, God don't give me a chance. God gives us lots of chances. Every day is a new chance to do to what the kingdom has called us to do, what he, what he has called us to do, what he's given us to walk in, the great gifts he wants to, to put in our lives and, put, uh, and, and have us to walk in and share. He wants us to share everything that we have, and he wants us to share with, uh, with other believers and, 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 and recreate more believers by showing them the great things that God has given them, just like the Israelites did during the day, the biblical days, that the favor of God was on them. No one could, uh, no one outside of the Israelites could, and the Levites could touch the Ark of the Covenant or go near the Ark, the Ark, Ark of the Covenant because it was holy. <coughs> Excuse me, and God is holy. And God wants us to be holy. He wants us to come before Him in faith and in all holiness. Because that's what pleases God. And that's what we're about here, about pleasing God. Like I said, these, I put these messages every week on Facebook, on YouTube. You can I don't go to Twitter. I don't I don't do I ain't gotta worry about it. Them shutting Twitter down because I'm not on it. I ain't gotta worry about shutting Instagram down because I'm not on it. I'm not on no TikTok. TikTok sound like a clock. <laughs> you know, we're on a clock because we're wanting to make sure this year and every minute, every second, every day of, in, 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 of this year is used for the great opportunities that we have in Christ and in His righteousness and doing the will and purpose of God. That's what it's about, doing that will and purpose of God and stuff. And, you know, I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas uh, holiday, you know, and a, 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 a wonderful day off. If you had that day off, some I know some people work on Christmas, and God bless you, and God bless the uh, uh, all your laboring and all the labor that was done for the kingdom last year. God bless it. That we did some great things um, uh, through Pastor Megapu over there in India. He we 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 started about five or six other churches, new churches as well as, uh, as help some other churches and stuff. And, and we're doing, planning to do more this year through the uh, will and purpose of God and, and, and the great favor that God has given this pastor is through your prayers, through your goodness, and through God's great favor on him. He's doing it just this today. You know, his, his new year was like, nine o'clock last night <laughs> it was like about nine o'clock last night uh, and stuff and so i celebrated new year's with them with the church we had communion we, we and stuff and and then afterwards he actually had four people get saved praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord and then it, and his and, and his father's church they had seven people got baptized as well and so you know things are happening already in the body of Christ. Things around us that we don't really see, but there's great things going on in the body, in the, in, in the churches of the Lord Jesus Christ today. And God bless the other ministers that I know over there as well. And, 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 
and uh, Pastor uh, Sandy High, he, a great man of God, Sandra, Bishop Sandra, and, and it's uh, uh, Pastor uh, Raju. They had doing great things in their church as well as Pastor Roger Passai, Pastor Moses. There's many of them. God bless them, and God bless the pastors here in the USA. And, and those that are doing the work of God today from, from putting, uh, putting uh, cleaning the restrooms to, to, to cleaning the pews to, to doing the things in ministry, out of, uh, outreach ministries, uh, in missions ministries, and the different churches that, you know, I, I, I've seen where another friend of mine, he, he's doing great ministry in Pakistan, as well as my great uh, pastor friend over there in, in Pakistan, Pastor Arnel uh, Yusuf. And bless him as he has a children's ministry and, as well, and he bless him the children with with and, 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 uh, with books and, and and learning material, not just in the, uh, in the uh, uh, natural sense, but you know the spiritual sense because he's teaching them the word of God along with that, with all the other co uh, natural curriculum. They they got they study biblical uh, stuff as well. And it's teaching, it says, teach up the children in the, in the way they should go, and they soon should not depart. And God bless him, and God bless his endeavors as he's doing it for the will and purpose of God. Bless all the, the same way in, this, in the other nations of the world, because it says, and our motto is going into all nations and being a light unto those nations, a savoring salt. You know, we want to be the ones that, that with these started these worship centers where people can come and, and do what? Honor God with their worship. Honor God with their praise. Build up a discipleship. That's what it's about. Building and, and, and training and discipling others to do what God has called us to do. And that's what we want to do even more for 2023. We want to do more. We want to invite you to do more as well. And that's, that's if you know him today. And if you don't know him, I'll give a little prayer here shortly so that you can know him and stuff. But I'm just going to have a short little bit of words here today and stuff because I, 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 I'm not giving all a bunch of accolades. I, all the pastors that I know, they know that I love them and I, and I thank them for their support and, and, and their prayers and for this ministry and for, the, for this ministry to grow and, and, and for all the uh, ministries that are out there that, that that this will be a, you know, an, a, an abundant time in, in God this new year. we got to want to go to that next level in God. Each and every one of us wants to be at that next level with God. You know, this, uh, you know when you, you go playing your video games or you do it, you want to always go to that next level. You don't want to be in the beginning uh, level you want to be in the in the in the, in the professional level the, the exceeding level the high skilled level and that's why we should be the same way with, with with handling and doing the things of God we want to be that next level and same with our faith being next next level faith so we can pray for the sick and they shall recover we can go out and and, 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 and bring comfort to those that that are mourning you know, you may lost someone this past 2022. 20, you know, God bless you. I hope that you can find strength in God because that's where our strength is, in Him. Because when we are weak, He is strong. You know, and we come to Him and, and He is, a, He said He would not leave us comfortless, but there would be one that comes that would bring us to all understanding. And that understanding is through this Word. This Word can bring you the comfort that you need today. It can bring you wholeness in your body. It can bring you wellness. It can bring you restitution with others. And, and, and help you resolve your, 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 your difficulties, your problems, your burdens. Because it says to cast them upon him because he careth for us. And this is the day I just was, like I said last week, I talked about Emmanuel with us. We went through all the Christmas stuff, you know, and, and God bless you. You know, Christmas Day I didn't do nothing because of, cause, cause, uh, it was a family day for me. That was my family day, you know, and other, most of the churches around was, was closed as well. And it was very cold, <laughs> but, you know, and that's, you know, you got this little scenery behind me a little bit here as we go uh, 
a lot of people are snowed in maybe this this time of year you know we've had some decent weather to the last couple of days but god bless but it's this a season for preparing that's what me and this pastor talks about the, going through these seasons and being prepared you know you know when you go into battle you got to be prepared you just can't run into the fire you know you have to be prepared you know uh you know when when the three Hebrew children were thrown into the fiery furnace, they was they were prepared because they was prayed up. That's their preparation is their prayers. Their prayers reached God and they was prepared and they was prayed up and they was protected. And what saying was when Daniel was in the lions den, he was protected by God. And we've got to know God today. Is that's what we're going to talk about here today in this word about four new year resolutions to keep four new year resolutions to keep you know a lot of people make resolutions during the new year you know want to lose weight i'm going to lose about 25 pounds that i put on eating all that uh thanksgiving turkey and all the christmas delights and all them pies and okay you're going to lose all that and then most time they gain 14 20 pounds <laughs> so you know but these are resolutions we can keep if we really love god this is resolutions that we need to keep and we need to teach others so that they can keep them as well. And we're going to start here and we're, like I said, I'm going to do this word real quick because I put it on Facebook and YouTube and it's a little bit of a process because I had to take it off the camera, put it on the computer, then take it off, then send it from the, from the computer to Facebook and YouTube. And and, that, and, and each one of those processes is, is, is a little lengthy in downloading. But that, everyone knows that as well. But, you know, I do put them on there, and you can find my playlist on, the, on both. On, on, just pull in and go to the search bar and put in Measure Faith Worship Center, and it'll pull up there. Or either you can get me at Pastor Timothy at, 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 at Gmail, Pastor Timothy 25 at gmail.com. You can go there as well, and, 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 uh, and it, it'll have me. Or Tim Lovett, Timothy Lovett. Reverend Tim Lovett, you can pull me at all those L O V E T T. You can find me on those there. I'm not hiding. You know, I want everybody to get this word. Comment, send me some love, send me some emus, uh, some some thumbs up, some thumbs down if you don't like the way I preach or the way I, I present the word. If you need, uh, uh, think you need to enlighten me with some more uh, with the word, with with something that you may you may. Uh, the Holy Spirit may lay it on your heart, but just keep it by the Spirit and not by just what your own uh, 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 knowledge, but keep it by the Spirit. And that's what we say here. We only uh, want to do what the Spirit of God is, 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 is uh, telling us what to do today and leading us and guiding us. And that's what it's about. And like I said, this here was about the four new year resolutions to keep. Four new year resolutions to keep and this is about uh, we you know, like i said some people about the weight some people about quitting the, their bad habits you want to quit your bad habit trust god and that's what we're going to talk about how to do these things how 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 to keep them and how to how to maintain them and how to share them and that's what we're going to get in here today and this is uh, Psalms 37. I shared this as well with uh, with Pastor Babu's church yesterday as well. You know, because his yesterday is our uh, our tomorrow is his yesterday. <laughs> if that makes any sense, because he's ten, he's about 10, 12 hours ahead of us. Especially now when when we uh, we're, we turned our time back, they didn't turn their time back. India don't turn their time back, but. India is one of the second largest uh, populated nations, and if we can reach many over there and, and, and build these these ministers, these worship centers for more to come in. And his church is it's just it's blowing up. It's, it's, it's so many people that's coming and seeking more of God. There's hunger for 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 God and thirsting for righteousness, and that's what we should be this new year. Be totally hungry and thirsty for the righteousness of Christ and the great things God has called us to do. And like I said, we're going over here to Psalms because I'm making this real quick, trying to do this within 30 minutes. <laughs> Sometimes it, 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 it expands out. But this is the beauty of the video. You can slow it down, speed it up, get what out of it you need. That's what we want. You know, I've heard, sit and heard ministers 
preached for two hours and, and, and had no had no really uh, good point in in anything that they said. So you know you know concentrate on the things that God is, call, uh, is laying into your heart today and, and allow this to touch you as, as, and touch others around you and carry it out into the world like, like we said this about this pastor he's carrying it into his, allow his light to shine into the, to the world as well as his children and his wife and, 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 they, and, his, and his father Pastor Adam uh, Megapoo and God bless him and God bless the, the, the work that he, he's been doing for, for about 60 to 70 years, 60 years or so, great man of God, and and he's all all his children are, are pastors and, and and great men of God. But like I said, this message is the four New Year resolutions to keep. Four New Year's resolutions to keep. And like I said, we're going over to uh, Psalms 37. Psalms 37, and this is a psalm of David. David, because David had, David was committed. David was trusted God. David was delighted in, in God and delighted in, in doing things for God. And that's what we're talking about here today. And these four things that we're talking about today is trusting, delight, being, uh, finding our, our, our true delight, commitment. That's a hard one there for a lot of people. Ch commitment to the church. Commitment to Jesus Christ. Commitment to the doing the things of God. Commitment to others. And then as well as resting in the Lord. It's a certain type of rest you get when you rest in God. It's not like going to bed for eight hours. It's a different rest. It's a un it's a, a un understandable rest. <laughs> people can't can't understand that type of rest that you have. They like, I want some of that because I'm not. I, I feel chaos and 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 and, and, uh, and strife in my life, and I don't know how to change it. Well, they can change it by by resting in God and resting in the Lord. Forgive me. Excuse me, real quick here and stuff, but. God bless them. You see, most, most ministers have to have, to have that because it's just something that builds up. But we're going to start reading, like I said, in, in verse 2 of, of Psalms 37. Psalms 37, or verse 3. Verse 3 says, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land. And very, verily thou shalt be fed. In truth, and in stableness, you know, you'll be established. You'll be, you gotta be, when we trust God, God will establish us. He will establish us and, and we'll, we'll have the statue and and, 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 and and be on that next level with God. We can go that next level through His Holy Spirit guiding us in this word. And we trust in Him. We trust in the promises that was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We trust God. It's about trusting. You know, there's a certain trust. You know, that's why I've seen a, 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 a thing on, you know, that I have uh, in, my, in my commentaries and stuff. You know, saying how we get on a plane. We trust the, 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 the pilot to get us to, the, to our destination. We trust that plane to be equipped to get us to our destination. We trust, we trust all this trust. We don't know. We get on there, there's, there's always that, it's that uncertainty. But, but we have to trust that, we have to trust all these, 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 these things here to, to, to get us to our destination. And what is our destination this year is to do the great will and purpose of God. Reach many for the kingdom. That's what I, that's what this this resolution is talking about. Trusting God and, and doing the things of God. When we really trust God, we, we you know when we say we're going to do something, allow our word to be be uh, 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 in line and and, 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 and and partnered with our trust. It has to be partnered with our trust. You know when we you know if you can't trust somebody. You don't really want to be around them, you know. If you say if you everything you say and they go tell tell everything you say, some things you say is not to be told, <laughs> you know. That's not, you know. But there's a, there's a, 
uh, a drawback to that too. We shouldn't be saying things that we shouldn't want told to start with. But there also is the trust. We uh, your job, you go there. They trust you not to steal from them. They trust you to do your job. They trust you with, 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 with certain things that they wouldn't trust someone outside of the job because they would take advantage of it. You know, don't allow your, your, your trust to, to be weak. Don't allow your trust to be, be uh, 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 too trans, uh, un untransparent, but be it transparent and be, it, be it, uh, where people can, can see the trust of God in you. Because that's an attribute of God is trust. Because he, so, he trusted us enough that he, and, and loved us enough that he gave his only begotten son. You know, and Jesus came to be that willing sacrifice, that lamb that was slain. So he had his trust in God as well to redeem him. And as, as he is redeemed, he will redeem us as well through his righteousness. So like I said, there's trust. We have to trust Verse 3 of 37, trust in the Lord, do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. You know, that land, that's where, where we are, is everything we have, our provisions, our provi our, 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 and everything that we have belongs to God. We have to give our God everything, you know. When we commit ourselves over to God and our life over to God, we give Him lordship over everything. You can't petition the things that you want to. You know, just like people say, you know, they want to lose weight, but they can't. They, but they still smoke. <laughs> you know, they they want to they, they they want to quit smoking, but they just turn just and start drinking more. <laughs> you know, no, give up all of it. You know, the four New Year's resolutions to keep. You want to keep it, trust God. You want to keep those re these, these type of resolutions. You want, you want to ke keep your trust in God. You want, to, you want to, to, to dwell in the land of milk and honey. You know, it's not going to be a bed of roses, but, there, but God has said he's ne never leave us nor forsake us and stuff. And then uh, the second would be to, to delight thyself also in the Lord, verse 4. And he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. You know, delight in thyself, also in the Lord. You know, we want to, we want when we go to have a, find new relationships. You know, we want we want them to delight in us. You know, we're not gonna go uh, as a bum and and approach somebody and say, "Hey, how you doing, sweetie?" Because <laughs> they gonna say, "Depart from me." <laughs> you know, they're gonna run from you. You know, so, you know, we, we want to be the same way. We want to delight ourselves in the Lord. You know, you know, when God tells us something to do, just like you tell your children something to do, they're not going to like everything that you tell them. <laughs> when you tell them to take out the trash and, they, and they're in the middle of their, their, their game and you say now, I know that's what it used to be, the little deals with us. When they said now, you better know that it was now. It wasn't. It wasn't when you got ready. You know, it wasn't about when you got ready. It was now, and so you know, like I said, four New Year's resolutions to keep. This is one we have to keep. We have to delight ourselves in God. Delight in what we do for God. Delight in what we do for others. You know, you know, you know. Some people just do it as a show. We can't be a show. It's not about being a show. It's about delighting in it, knowing we, we're pleasing God. You can't work your way into heaven, but once we become Christians and, 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 and uh, commit to doing the things of God, we have to delight in those things as well and know that He is, he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him and, 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 and seek to do His will and purpose. Like I said, that was trust, and then there's the light, and now, like we've been saying all along, the commitment that we have. Commitment 5, it says, Commit thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. You know, he'll bring, the, he'll bring around the, uh, the, 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 the great things that he's in the great, and, 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 and minister the great gifts that he wants to minister to us and through us 
and for uh, that, that others may see him and delight in him and trust in him because they see us doing the same. You know, monkey see the monkey do. That's what they, the little little uh, saying that is out there. You know, people uh, don't take offense and uh, don't go telling a monkey I said that. <laughs> you know, monkey see, monkey do. You know, it's four New Year's resolutions to keep. And that's about commitment. Be committed to what you're doing. Like your child wants you to be committed. They don't want you to just come in. I don't know. I don't really want to be here. Well, you're not committed if you don't come in 100%. I've always, in 30 years, I've been, I worked almost with Walmart. I, 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 was, I, I never come in and gave 30%. I always come in trying to give my 100% or sometimes 110 You know, <laughs> give more. Sometimes it's about being committed to show our commitment. We have to give a little more. And the same way we should be doing by uh, ministering in the kingdom of God, giving a little bit more, going that extra mile, you know, doing something extra, you know, you know, don't just do it just for a good old pat on the back, you know, you know, don't do it for that, you know, do it for the kingdom of God and the rewards will be there. That he says he'll he'll pour out, the, he'll open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing on you. And, but you you got to be committed, and that's what he wants you to be committed to your salvation, committed to your to your commit to, to to Jesus Christ and His righteousness, and allow others to see and hold and, and be able to grab a hold of that same righteousness and and, and, and as well, and says trust also in Him and He shall bring it to pass. Trust also in Him and He shall bring it to pass. And verse 6 says, And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and, and thy judgment as the noonday. You know, because one day we'll stand before him. He says, oh, once a man to die, and then the judgment. So we'll stand before him, and, and he'll, he'll see and know when he opens the books of life, and he sees how you was, he could trust you, and, he was, and how you showed others how you trusted him. And how you trusted in, in doing the things he's called you to do. Because for he's, he called us and foreordained us before the foundation of the world. And so we, 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 that's another one of those new year resolutions that we, can, we, we need to keep. We need to be committed and we need to, be, uh, to delight in him and we need to trust in him. And then, like I said, and we're going to round it out here with this verse here in verse, verse 7. And it's just a short message, just a New Year's message, like I say. And then we're going to say this little short prayer here. And, and so that those that don't know him can know him as this new year. Go into this new year. Just like I said, he, he just got four people just got saved in his church. And, 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 then, and, and seven got baptized. And, and, and between the churches, so so there's people making commitments. They made commitments today that are yesterday when they when they came before God and gave their life to God. They made a commitment to walk as Christ in His righteousness, and that's what we said here. And they will give us rest. You know, there's nothing like the peace of God. And that peace of God, like I said, it's not like 8 or 12 or 15 hours of sleep. It's better than that. It's better than that. And that uh, co uh, commitment should be a life of commitment. You know, you see uh, great men of God, they committed their, or great men in, in, in the world, professors and doctors and, and stuff, they committed their time, their efforts, their, their attributes, their, 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 uh, all their knowledge to what they did. Great explorers, same way everyone, they come, there's a, a, a great commitment there. And we have to understand what our new, our commitment is for this new year. It's not that we can fi find a way to get a new car. It's not a, 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 we can't look at God to, to just drop a new car on us, drop a new house on us. You know, we, uh, that's not the commitment and the, and the, and the, uh, 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 the things that uh, trust in God. We, and, and then all of a sudden blow up because God don't. Because that you might you might think you do the things that you need is the things you need, but God knows us more than we know ourselves, and you know, or ever know ourselves. For He He foreordained that means He already knows, 
and but he he wants to see us to, in our free will to to commit to trust to to, to to the delight and then to rest we need to rest in God we need to rest our our, our in God today and we need to teach others how to, how to rest you know you might have to go to a, 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 a place where they teach you uh, uh, you know, people with insomnia, they have to learn how to rest because that's they're so built up in, 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 in their minds and that they can't rest. You know, some people that are just, you say, man, he never rests. That guy's always going. You know, just like this pastor, he's a busy pastor, but he know he still knows when to rest because God will play, make a time where you will rest. But let our rest be in, in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who profits in his way because the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. You know, we can't worry about the, the world, what, all uh, the people in the world, the, 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 the millionaires, the billionaires, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. Because they're using only godly wisdom, we we have to seek the counsel and God and godly counsel that God has for us through the Holy Spirit, guiding us, teaching us, enabling us to do what what God has called us to do, and we can only do that by knowing Him, and that's what we're going to close out like that right now. That was verse three, three through seven of, of Psalms thirty-seven. Like I can say it was just a short word because it's a four New Year resolutions to keep. Four New Year's resolutions to keep. And what did we say it was? Trusting God, delighting thyself in the Lord, committing our ways unto the Lord, and resting in the Lord. And God bless you. And, and, and like I say, I put this little thing on Facebook and YouTube as well, or YouTube, and you can find it in the description page, and if you would ask me on Facebook, I can send it to you. It's what we must do to be saved. And this is very important. It's like I said, he had these four people made, uh, uh, step forward and came to, came to the altar. You know, you don't have to be at, at a church altar. You can be right where you are watching this video. It's opening your heart, spirit, mind to God today. And like I said, trust in God, committing that self to God, delighting in the Lord, and, and resting in, in the Lord today. We, we, what we must do to be saved, we must admit we are sinners, and that the Lord Jesus Christ is the, uh, can save us, not anyone else, not any of the, the, the other gods, or many gods, or any 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 charm, or or. And the the pastors the the pastor can't touch your salvation. Some people think that the, as long as the pastor saved, they're saved. No, that ain't how it works. You need to get uh, in a place with God, and that the way you do that is recognize you are a sinner, and then and and, and call on Him. Romans two uh, three and twenty three. Repent and be willing to turn away from sin and submit to God. Luke 13 and 5, and believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and shed his blood to pay the price for your sins, and then he rose again, Romans 10 and 9, and then ask Jesus to save us. We're going to say a little prayer right now. Just say it out loud with me. You know, or, and, and, just you and God, you can close your eyes. You don't have to close your eyes. God is not about formality. God is about an open heart, a, a, a true heart, a worshiped heart, a clean heart, that, and He can be the one that cleans it right now and cleanses it and, and allow you to find that through Jesus Christ's righteousness and through His blood, like we said here, can, can make us whole. Right now, Lord, Heavenly Father, touch each one out there, Lord God, right now. Lord God, in this new, new Year's, as they make these New Year's resolutions to you, Lord God, that they'll trust in you, Lord God. That they'll uh, delight in you, Lord God. They'll commit to you, Lord God. And they'll rest in you today. And, 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 and through these next 365 days, Lord God, that, that they'll call on you and do your, your will and purpose, Lord God. And Lord, right now we ask you as we come to you as sinners, Lord God. It says all have sinned and come short of the glory. And Lord God, we, we ask you, Lord God, cleanse us, Lord God, from our heads to our toes, Lord God. Wash us white as snow, Lord God, as that baby lamb that was slain on, this, on, on, on Calvary's cross. 
as the Lord Jesus' righteousness. Fill us, Lord God, with that, that righteousness, Lord God, as we ask him to be our Lord and Savior this day, Lord God, and make us new this new year as we begin a new beginning and make these New Year's resolutions. Allow them to, 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 as we hold fast to them, Lord God, this new year, new year, and we give you glory, we give you honor and praise for all things in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen and amen. And if you made this commitment, you made this, this, this pledge to God and this promise to God, He's trusting you to stand, stand firm in it. Don't be wavering in your faith, but stand firm in it. And then we have to know that He's Lord. And, 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 and we have to get a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, get you a Bible. There's plenty of people still selling Bibles for the New Year's. They'll, and like I said, just like I said about baptism, find your place this, this, this spring. If you don't have a lot of people, oh, there, it's kind of warm still, so he can do that. But you can find somewhere to be baptized when, 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 when it's possible. Make sure you get baptized. And the water is very important. Jesus thought it was very important as well. And we got to get, uh, as well as, as, as uh, get around other believers. Come to my, you can come to these sites. There's other other sites online. There's plenty. There's no excuse. I talked, I preached so much on that last year about eliminating the excuses. We have to eliminate. That's that commitment is by eliminating those those excuses and delighting in Him. And trusting in Him and resting in Him. And God bless you. God bless your new year. God bless this new week. God bless this new month. January. Let's make January exceedingly abundantly above all in God. That's what in, in, in doing the work of Christ of God, sharing Christ with many, many. That's what we got to just think. How many can we? You know how how can we just just blow it out of the water. That's what they used to say. You know, let's just blow this thing out of the water. You know, <laughs> and stuff. But God bless you, and I thank you for being here today with Measure Faith Worship Center Church and Churches of India, as well as that we represent them and bless them. And, and, and if you want a calendar, I can get you a calendar. If you want a calendar, you can, like I say, text me at, or, or chat at, or send me a, a friend request, and I, I, I'll try to get you one. But God bless, and thank you for being here today at Measure Faith Worship Center Church.